Hello everybody, my name is Jake and welcome to my tutorial on how to install MechJev for Kerbal Space Program 0.18.4. Um, this will also work for any other future versions, I am sure. So the first thing you are going to need is WinRAR and Kerbal Space Program, of course. And the first link in the description, you're going to click on that and it should take you to this page, Spaceport, MechJev. Once you're here, you're going to click download now the big red thing that my mouse is currently over I accidentally clicked it twice and now it's going to start downloading again but once it's downloaded go ahead and open it up and now I have a little trouble right here for some reason because when I was recording my mouse kept glitching for some reason so just bear with me and okay close it there you go so I'm going to put it over there okay now, don't do what I did right here. Do not open up the parts folder in the Kerbal Space Program. Go to MechJeb, the MechJeb WinRAR. Open up MechJeb, then Parts, and then highlight all the stuff that is in Parts in the MechJeb folder. And then move, move it into Parts. I've already done that, so I am not going to drag them back into Parts. Just move all the folders in Parts in the MechJeb folder into Parts in the Kerbal Space Program folder. Then after that, go to Plugins in the MechJeb folder, Take that one file and put it into the plugins in the Kerbal Space Program folder. Once you're done with that, you can exit out of the MechJeb, Win MechJeb WinRAR and launch Kerbal Space Program. Alright, now we're in the main menu. Go to Start Game, um, Start New or Resume Saved. I'm going to resume my saved one. My first KSP, I just realized that it's, uh, it's first, I mean fist. So you're going to have to build a rocket, of course. So I choose just a regular Mark 1 command pod. Now this is just going to be a really simple, really non-efficient rocket at all. I, I seriously don't recommend building this rocket for any other course of interplanetary feet. This is just an example rocket. So once your rocket is done, you're going to go into control. Which is, I have this pre-recorded by the way, so if you're wondering why it's so awkward. Uh, you're going to go to control and select the stop moving mouse MechJeb MechJeb it's just gonna be like this is gonna look like this walkie talkie close that little thing and put it on your rocket and keep in mind that if you detach a stage with the MechJeb on it you will lose MechJeb so say you don't have it on your command pod which I recommend you should do and it's on your fuel tank if you eject that fuel tank and it's gone you're not using it anymore you will lose MechJeb here are all the stuff MechJeb has to offer. Excuse the waving around of the mouse. I was gonna have I was gonna have um, little subtitles, but I decided just to do a voiceover because it is extremely easier. And right now I'm just showing you all the stuff that you could use on MechJeb. I only I only basically know um, two, probably at least two things on there, which is the Smart ASS and the what is it? Oh yeah, the Orbital Information. Those are nice. And so then you are done. Click here in that annotation. Um, coming soon, or if it's not already out, then you can go ahead and click there um, to my tutorial on how to use MechJeb in an orbit. And so, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Likes and favorites are always much appreciated. Subscribe for more ad free gameplays and community discussions and all that. And um, I'll see you all later. Who me on, and thank you for watching.